Afternoon everyone, in from DIY Home Gardening, 16th of October, well and truly into autumn now and uh, time to think about getting that uh, greenhouse tidy, prepared, ready for moving items in over your winter period. So uh, let's go and have a little look, shall we? So I've started getting everything out that is inside and basically the view is that to uh, strip out as much as possible work through in a sort of a, a logical way to get rid of any of the um, well laying around bits of compost and leaf matter and stuff like that so the top section believe it or not I've sort of had a sort through and tidied um, then this is obviously all the remains of pots of well, essentially the basil and that that were on there and I've started hanging a tidy through as well so what I'm going to do is just finish taking everything else out of the greenhouse we'll give it a proper tidy down and then uh, have a look at the next stage it's worth it as well if you can get your shelving out make use of the nice weather give it a wash down so you've swept the shelves, now probably time to have a look at all that stuff that you've got underneath. Do you need all those pots, all the pot sizes, all the trays? If you haven't actually used them all season, uh, or for maybe two seasons, it's probably a good case to say you don't need it all. So uh, don't be afraid to get rid of it, whether that's going into you know, recycling, if you've uh, lucky enough like us you can uh, get rid of your plastic into the recycling centre or give them to other friends family um, people at the allotment that uh, might want some more pots or trays or even to your local garden centres but it's worth just really trying to rationalise so you don't keep just storing stuff for the sake of storing it which ultimately means that you're just hoarding so some of that actually the older bits well i've got a propagator tray there that i haven't used at all because it doesn't work so those sorts of things might as well just pass them to someone who uh, can make use of it so next thing empty all this out final clear down on the underside and then uh, you can then sweep up all the mess you've made okay start at one end work your way through clean it down and then put everything back right so we've done all the tidying everything's back as it should be uh, it's worth also testing all your winter type products give them a clean up so things like your heaters give them a, a clean up get rid of all that um, summer dust try them out make sure they actually work for uh, when you're going to need them which won't be too long and whilst you're at it you might as well check you know things like your heated propagator units make sure they're all working as uh, you know if you need to replace a fuse or plug or the whole thing now's the time to do it whilst um, we're in autumn prices are a little, little bit lower you might be able to find that odd bargain or uh, upgrade what um, to uh, what you've been thinking about so try it all out there we are so that's better isn't it so aside from the uh, heat mat that is drying off everything's kind of back where I want it you can see that's all been washed down um, if you have got some bleach or jays it's always worth uh, using a, a weak form of that and some wash everything down with as well just to help kill off any bacteria and you know the floor has been swept but I'm just going to get the hose out give this a bit of a, a wash down because it does look particularly grimy and then uh, again it's definitely good practice using your uh, jays or uh, weak bleach solution just give all your um, side walls and doors are, are washed down because you want to make sure that basically you're killing off any pests or 
disease that you might have built up and from what was or what appeared to be a clean greenhouse I've actually generated that amount of waste which is quite worrying really but also it just highlights the fact that there's, uh, there's so much um, housing bedding material there for which uh, any um, bugs and bacteria can overwinter you know particularly things like spider mite or uh, any of the uh, a, you know aphids vine weevil so worth you know definitely worth giving it a proper clean up again at this stage depends how organized you are or how you want to get back into it but again you can have a measure up of your your sides and your back panels and your roofing and see about sourcing your insulation should you require it but for now i'm just going to get this heat mat put back have a little sweep up and then wash the floor down and uh, obviously clean these walls so let's get cracking on that so the floor's all cleaned down giving the panels a, a clean but um you'll notice they still look pretty bad that is because where I am it's a hard water area so this is not dirt it's lime scale so to get rid of that just use a, a weak um, uh, white vinegar solution and uh, that gets shot to that so that's what I'll do now just get it nice and tidy you want as much light in through these panels as possible over the winter period it just helps things grow nicely right I'm no window cleaner but I think they look pretty good to me. I mean, you can actually see there's a grapevine outside and look how much grime has come off those windows. Well, polycarbonate sheets. But uh, yeah, certainly cleaned up a lot of the uh, lime scale just using the, um, the vinegar uh, solution. So job ticked off, greenhouse done. Um, I will probably, well, not probably, I'm gonna, clean up the, uh, the plants before they come back in. So just you making sure you're removing any of the dead leaf material and excess soil and that sort of thing before it comes back into this uh, greenhouse. Once that's all inside, the easiest way um, just to make sure it's nice and clean is to set off um, one of the uh, fumigator uh, candles or sulfur candles as they used to be called. Um, and then you can you know, literally set one off with all your uh, plants inside and that will fumigate everything, kill off any uh, remaining aphids and white fly, um, spider mite that might be residing on those plants. So uh, yeah, that is, I would say, a pretty successful autumn winter clean or autumn clean of the greenhouse. and. Yeah, it has taken me the best part of an hour to get done, but well worth it. And certainly now it's done, it just means that I can start, well, filling it up with more stuff. So getting the stuff back in and also I've got some tubs over here, or over there, that uh, I'm itching to sow some seeds into for hopefully some winter crops. But uh, yeah, get the last bits in and that's me done. Right, so uh, after quite some time, uh, kind of got carried away actually. So everything's back in the greenhouse. Uh, I ended up planting these uh, troughs at the same time. So I put some uh, beetroot seed in, carrot seed and some spring onion. Cleaned up all the uh, strawberry planters at the same time. So they're good to go. And essentially, uh, oh, and uh, trimmed up the Selenium quintiensis. So essentially they've got to go back in and uh, well, autumn tidy up, done. Okay, so just thought I'd, um, I'd show you this uh, before I do it actually, as we're doing the, uh, the greenhouse cleanup. So this is what I'm using as my fumigator. Uh, dead fast, so it's come from well, it's made by Westland, so you know it's going to work well. And it comes in this little tin, so you take it out of the tin, put that to one side, 
and put it on uh, another piece of well something you know, something of uh, ceramic nature um, let me just try and unwrap this this little unit so I'll just pop that to one side and undo that Right, and you literally take the top off and there is the wick so it's nothing nothing too technical and I'll just move those bits of plastic out of the way uh, I did have a lighter here we are and just let you There. Yeah. That's that. And now, shut the door. And you keep it shut. And essentially, well, you try and obviously uh, seal as many vents as you can do. Drop your vents down. Keep the greenhouse shut. Uh, you can see a little bit coming out. Um, but that will filter through all that greenhouse and uh, yeah just keep it keep it sealed and um, return to that later so when I say later 12 hours time so see you in the morning okay so I um, thought I'd do you the, uh, the quick finish up um, it's got to be really quick because uh, I've got to go to a wedding. But um, yeah, so the doors open this morning. Uh, you can see that's how the uh, smoke has finished up. So it stays as the sealed canister. The contents is all burnt. And basically, hopefully, um, the smoke has killed all the, uh, well, insects that may have been harbouring within the greenhouse. Um, I'll tell you what, I will have a quick look. So, uh, duh, 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 duh. oh, there we are. So it tells you how, how big an area it would do. So treats flying insects in 120 metres cubed area and crawling insects in a seven and a half metre cubed area. Uh, so sufficient for a 2 by 3.5 by 1.5 greenhouse. So perfect. Hopefully does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, yeah, job done. So uh, hopefully greenhouse sorted. So as I say, I'm uh, you know, just in the process about to go to a wedding. So um, yeah got to make this quick but yeah thanks for watching the video hope you found it of interest if you got some questions uh you know i don't know how much there is to ask or to message me on with regards to cleaning the greenhouse but certainly you might have questions on the fumigation process but if you got any questions on this video or anything else then please send them over to me i'd say if you like what i'm doing then please subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the reminder button so you don't miss out on future videos that I'm doing. And uh, more importantly, just enjoy what you're doing. Um, use the weather whilst we got it to get organized and take advantage of and uh, say, you know, start thinking about your autumn winter plans for the less hardy stock, you know, things in the background there. And uh, obviously being prepared so that when you come to put stuff into your storage areas, they're not going to end up in worse condition than what you put them in. So, till next time, my there you go. Bye for now.